Hi, it's Al, and I wanted to do a quick follow-up <coughs> on the uh, aquaponic system. Um, I designed those uh, two openings in there to allow more airflow into the system. Um, the uh, cut-out that I did uh, earlier in the bottom uh, was insufficient, even though uh, you know it's a fairly big uh, cut-out. Yeah, that fan, uh, thermostatic control fan, when it comes up, uh, when it comes on, it draws a lot of air. So I uh, really made these two uh, openings here, and uh, I uh, made the uh, hinge out of uh, duct tape, and it works really, really well. Uh, and I really just cut out a spot up here where you could slide a bolt in and out real easy. And uh, I made that bracket for it that is secured in there. And it's easy to just uh, do that and open and close it. Now, uh, here's the, uh, the plants. As they are looking, the tomato plants have really grown in the last weeks. So in one week, uh, everything has grown quite a bit. The uh, onions are fairly high, the red and white onions. And you can see uh, the rest of the plants are doing really, really well. Uh, I finished the uh, moving the uh, intake pipe or the supply line uh, to a lower location and then I capped uh, the old one where the supply on the, uh, the supply line uh, that's returning the water from the overflow um, to the uh, or from the sump uh, to the tank that were too close together. Now I got a nice uh, pressure uh, from the water column and you can see, the water coming out of these uh, valves is actually uh, pretty fast. It's looking really good, even though I got the valves closed down quite a bit to allow for you know seven to ten minutes of cycle uh, between them. But the system's doing really, really well. I'm very, very pleased with it. I'm glad that uh, uh, that we got it going. It's been dropping into the 40s at night, so I've had that heater uh, connect connected and working all of the time and that's that 1500 watt uh, uh, truck engine um, uh, tank heater. Um, I haven't uh, hooked it up to a thermostat yet but I haven't had the need to it either. Uh, the water right now uh, in the middle of the day is approaching, it's approaching 80 degrees, uh, 78 degrees or so, so it's, it's really good. Um, in a few hours this uh, temperature will start dropping again and I won't have to worry about it. So, uh, but for right now, that heater has been unplugged as you can tell. Uh, next year I'll have, I'll have a, uh, a thermostat with a, uh, with a wet probe going into here. The uh, automatic uh, valve for a uh, float valve allows the water to uh, be added uh, in here without me having to worry about it. And, uh, you know, the system's just running really, really well. The fish are looking healthy. We have, uh, we added some more uh, goldfish to it, and we have right now about 250 goldfish in this tank. Um, we have been adding uh, some uh, maxi crop which is that product that you see down here, and that is to uh, provide nutrients to the plants because we don't have enough uh, fish mass right now to produce enough waste uh, to, uh, to really get the plants going. Uh, also, we've been working on establishing the uh, nitrifying bacteria uh, into this bed, and uh, because it's cold, it, it takes uh, quite a bit of time for that bacteria to develop, so we went to uh, PetSmart and we got this product here, which what it does, uh, it allows uh, the system to, well it adds bacteria into the system and, uh, and it helps um, my beds uh, become productive sooner, so they can, uh, once this fish starts uh, creating waste, it'll, it'll cycle. Uh, that waste uh, more effectively and it's able to uh, take the ammonia and the nitrate uh, out of the system and turn it into nitrates. So anyways, um, that's, uh, those are some of the, the tricks 
that we've learned uh, we still have to add this other tray into the system which we will uh, maybe in a couple of weeks or so I just haven't had the time and I, I know I won't have the time this weekend so we're going to add that system and I will take a video uh, of the step-by-step -step process of how to do that and connect it to the system so uh, anyways that's uh, that's what I wanted to accomplish today just kind of give you an idea of you know how this system is working and uh, thanks for watching and God bless everybody take care